Hi folks, it's me again, and this is part two of driving through the stupid car lot. It's testing the raw quality of this new camera. The low light, low light capability with video, like just low lighting on this camera is amazing. Seriously, I thought my last camera was really great in low lighting, but this is even better. I didn't think they could make the camera quality much better, but apparently they can. They're continuing to make it even better. It's like, how are they doing this? This is crazy. Oh, I'm like orgasming over this video quality. Because seriously, think about it. I have used a ton of video cameras over the years. I have made so many videos. And they just keep getting better and better. Like this is almost DSLR quality right here. And the fact that I can make it this, it looks this good when it's this dark because it's, it's nighttime. There's only a couple lights around. It is really dark and this is almost as bright as I can see. Like, this looks almost the same as I can see with my damn eyes. Like, it's, it's insane how good this looks at night. Like, I remember if I would be using all of my older cameras or even one of my cameras on my cheap phone, this, you would not be able to see shit. This would all be completely black right now. The only light you'd be able to see is like that street light over there. Like, you know, the lights, that's all you'd be able to see. Like with this camera, it's like, damn. You can, I can see all the detail. It is so bright with this camera. It is incredible. It can see in the dark, like, just as good as I can see in the dark. It's crazy. Hey, I, w I wouldn't say it's that good, but it's pretty damn close, folks. Insane what you can achieve from a phone. Keep in mind, this is a phone. I'm going to keep orgasming over this video quality, damn it. I still gotta do some daytime tests. I'll probably do it tomorrow or the day after or whatever. But right now, I'm doing my <clears throat> night job right now, so whatever. Just driving through the lots, making this part two so I can show you the rest of the lots. We're currently in the Kia lot right now. Yep, buddy. Whee! You know, this reminds me of the first, one of the first jobs I did when I had to drive a golf cart. Because, obviously, not I'm driving a golf cart, <laughs> but it's also out in the middle of nowhere. Like, we are kind of out in the middle of nowhere right now. Like, not, not really, but at the same time, yeah, we are. We're, I'm on, like, the very edge of everything. It's like, if you drive all the way over here, it's just dirt. There's nothing out here. There's like 10, there's like a dozen dealerships over here. So it's basically just neighborhoods and car dealerships. So we got Ford over there, we got Nissan, we got Toyota across the street over there. So yeah, it's just a shitload of car dealerships that's basically on the very edge of civilization. The only reason it's not it doesn't feel really creepy is because you know it's really there's a bunch of lights everywhere it's it's pretty bright over here and there's just there's cars everywhere and we're we're pretty much right next to the freeway too so yeah so i even though we are like on the very edge of civilization right now at the same time it doesn't really feel that way because it's kind of crowded and it's so it's so bright over here so I, I don't feel like I'm gonna 
like die or something. Folks. Almost done driving through this stupid lot. And then I'll probably head over back to the Chevy lot because like I said, that lot is a lot bigger and more open. I like that lot better, damn it. How's this? Damn it. Fucking serious. Some dumb fucking jackass left the door wide open. It's only a matter of time before I'm gonna run into these problems. Uh, I wanted to make the video of me driving more, but oh, I gotta deal with this shit now. Go look for more dumbass videos. I'm probably gonna make more of me driving around the lot. I'm not gonna end here. I'm gonna make more and more and more. See you folks. Uh, I'm annoyed now.